everyone. I'm coming to you again. Bring you another creation that I made. Um, I actually came about it because I was trying to make something short and quick for my aunt's birthday. And she wanted a recipe book. So I, of course, looked on YouTube and I saw May May made it. Um, her recipe book. And she did it from a composition notebook. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, so this actually comes from May May Made It and I did kind of use a lot of her ideas. The paper that I used was this one, Homemade with Love by Karina Gardner. It's by um, Cartabella, the paper. And it's really cute. And I did somewhat kind of do exactly what May May did. I kind of like tweaked it of course. But this is the front of it and this was a part of the sticker from a sticker sheet. This I actually got from another sticker from another sticker sheet that I bought from Michaels. I have it right here. And they came like this. From no, this is not Michaels. This is Hobby Lobby. I got this from Hobby Lobby, sorry. And I just took the one that was right here and I added that to the front. And then all the rest was the cut aparts from the Cartabella um, paper pad. And then I just backed it on some recollection um, brown cardstock. And then here's the back. And this is also a paper from the paper pad. So it's short and simple and cute nothing too too much because you know she's older and she doesn't need too much but it's just cute and then when you open it there's the inside like that and all I did here May May she used her actual recipe cards to make her pockets but I didn't want to do that because I thought the recipe cards were actually cute just for my aunt to actually write on even though Mamie said you could write on them as um, as she made it as her pocket, but I just wanted to, like I said, be different, put my own little spin on it. So all I actually did was just make my own envelopes, and um, I, you know, cut the little slit off, and then I um, notched it right here, and then I just glued it on, and then I actually tucked one of the recipe cards in here like that, and then I made a couple of my own throughout here just out of the um, papers the 110 pound paper that you get from Joann's <clears throat> I used this from the envelope the envelope punch board excuse me sorry and then that's just a couple of the stickers that from the cut apart sorry not stickers but the cut apart paper and then this came from that sticker pet paper that I showed you from Hobby Lobby it's actually on this one like this it came from that one but I used that and then that right there this is another pocket that came from the one from Hobby Lobby this sticker it was like this and then I just cut this it came, this one right here came bigger like this part but I didn't want all that extra on there so I just cut it down and added it right there May May Amy she added this right here the fork and the knife and the spoon so I just kept it like that too but I put let's eat and she, I think she added something else and then like I said I created my own pocket right here and then you know like I said the um, the card right there and then if you flip it I added paper this paper right here on each one of the back pages actually came from another paper pad. It did not come from the Cartabella. This paper actually came from, let me show you guys really quick, from the Michaels Hot Buy that we just recently got from the Country Farmhouse. From the Country Farmhouse and that's where I got some of the papers from out of here. I'm trying to hurry before my phone cuts off because my battery is dying. So that's what I used on there. And then if you flip it, you just I just used some of the stickers there and a 
you know, I notched it there and added my own one there. And then that some of the cut aparts again, I just cut it down to size and then added some stickers there. And then on the back, I just added another sticker, and that's from the Hobby Lobby stickers. And this is from the paper pad, the one, the Cartabella. And then this is the next section, my own. And then that's some of the stickers from the sticker sheet. And then that's the back. I didn't want to do anything here. I thought maybe she could just, like if she had a picture or something she wanted to put on here. Um, from one of her recipes or whatever she could put it there. I just left that one blank as is. And then that one, this would be like her baking section I'm going with. Hopefully she will make it like this. Um, I love this one. I love how this turned out. And I just added the little stickers on there and then I notched one of the little pieces of paper to make it, you know, one of the recipe cards and I stuck it in there. I'm sorry I'm going so fast. And that was, of course, one of the papers from the paper pad from the Cartabella. And then here, last but not least, well, not actually, there's one more. But this is the last part of the recipe. All I did here was I, when we did the Manila, if you go check out May May Made It, her recipe book, um, you'll see step by step how she actually constructed this. And But all I did was I added this part on here, so when you flip it open like this, you can put you can write down whatever your recipes are that you want to add here you can write down three or one whole one or whatever have you but I added that this was different and then I just put some of the stickers here from the Hobby Lobby and then the very last page on the back I made my own envelope again like I said and then just stuck some more recipe cards in there and some of the stickers from the sticker sheet from the um, collection and of course, everything I inked up with Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink Vintage Photo, this one. And I think it really turned out cute again. Super cute. And it took me about maybe two and a half hours once I watched the video and cut all the papers to size. And yeah. So, there you go. Something cute, short and simple. A quick gift. And my aunt is actually going to love it. She loves homemade stuff like this. Hope you guys have a good night. Well, day if you actually watch this in the daytime. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you... Um, feel free. I mean, feel free to leave me a comment if you want to. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.